For this exercise, we'll be working with the customer's collection from the sales database that we created in a previous section. With Studio 3D open and connected to MongoDB Atlas, right-click the sales database node and click open IntelliShell. Studio 3D opens IntelliShell in its own tab in the main window. On the IntelliShell toolbar, you'll see that both the Auto Completion button with the lightning bolt icon and Query Assist button are already enabled by default. Just make sure that both buttons are enabled. These will make it easier to view the results returned by the Mongo Shell commands. Now at the command prompt in the IntelliShell editor, add the following find statement. As we see, the statement uses the $LMMatch operator to match documents that contain the database value in the interests array. As long as any array element matches the operator's search condition, the document will be returned. In other words, the results will include any document that has an array value that equals database. The statement also limits the results to the last and interests fields, which are specified as the second argument passed to the find method. The 1.0 value associated with each field indicates that the field should be included in the results as opposed to being excluded. Next, on the IntelliShell toolbar, click the Run Entire Script button. Studio 3T runs the find statement and returns the results in the bottom window, displaying them in the Find Query tab. The Find Query tab displays results in table view. If the values in the Interests array are not displayed, right-click one of the values in the Interests column and then click Show Embedded Fields. The query should have returned 22 documents. Next, at the command prompt, replace the existing code with the following find statement. The statement returns the same results as the previous find statement. However, you do not need to use the $LMMatch operator because you're defining only one search condition. On the IntelliShell toolbar, click the Run Entire Script button again. This time, the statement should return the same 22 rows as the previous example. At the command prompt in the IntelliShell editor, replace the existing code with the following find statement. This statement uses dot notation to specify the index position when verifying values in the interests array. MongoDB indexes are zero-based, so interests.0 refers to the first position in the interests array. As a result, the statement will return only documents whose first value in that array is web design. When using dot notation in this way, you must enclose the field and index position in quotation marks. Now, run the entire script. The query has now returned only three documents. For each document, the first value in the interests array should be web design. Now, let's try replacing the existing code with the following find statement. The statement uses the dollar size operator to specify that the interests array should include exactly four elements for the document to be returned. Run the entire script and the query should return seven documents, each containing four values in the interests array. Now, replace that with an even newer find statement. The statement uses the dollar and operator to define two search conditions that must both evaluate to true for a document to be returned. Each search condition uses the $LMMatch operator to indicate that the interest array must contain the specified values, database and web design, respectively. Once again, run the entire script. And this time, the statement returns only two documents. Here, we see each document includes the database and web design values in the interest array. We're going to again replace the existing code with the following find statement. This statement works just like the previous one, except that it does not use the $LMMatch operator, helping to simplify the overall statement. Click Run Entire Script. You should receive the same results as the previous statement. So this time, we'll replace this code with the following, and rather than using the dollar and operator, the statement uses the dollar all operator, which provides a simple way to specify that returned documents should include certain values in the target array. 
The values themselves are passed to the dollar all operator as an array, which in this case includes the database and web design elements. One last time, run the entire script. We'll again receive the same results as the previous two statements. Close the IntelliShell tab. If prompted to save your changes, click No. Discard.